For this tutorial, you will need your selected yarn. I'm using the Bella Coco Crochet Super Soft Chunky, which was actually an exclusive yarn in the Crochet Society boxes. But I'll leave links in the description box below of a similar yarn, or you can check out the Crochet Society boxes if you want to get your hands on something similar. I'm using a five and a half millimeter crochet hook for this project. You will also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to sew in your ends. As always, I'm going to leave links in the description box below, so click that see more button underneath this video. It will give you all the details and you'll also find the link to my website where you'll find the written pattern for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and share this video if you like it. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start the rice stitch by creating a slip knot and you can do whichever method you prefer with this. Go ahead and insert your crochet hook and for this stitch you want to work in a odd number of stitches or an odd number of chains. So you're yarning over and pulling through. I've done one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go ahead and ch keep chaining for my sample piece. You want to pause the video and chain to the width of the project that you want yours to be. Make sure that it's in an odd number and meet me back in just a moment. Okay, so I have just worked my chain of 19 and we're now going to work our way back along the chain for our row one. We're going to be working into the spine of the stitch rather than the top loop. So if you turn it over, you see these bumps here. They're also known as the back bumps. And we're going to be working into the third chain from the hook, so not the one that's on the hook. This is one, two, and three. If we just turn that over, we can see this back bump here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a treble, which is a UK term. In the US, this is known as a double crochet. So that's yarn over go into that back bump, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, you'll have two loops on the hook, and then yarn over, pull through two loops. And we're going to do this uh, into each of the back bumps along the chain. So going into the next chain with your treble crochet and then into the next. And you want to continue all the way to the very end of your chain. So go ahead, pause the video, work those stitches into the back bumps and meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so once you finish row one, we're going to move on to row two and row two is actually the same row that you're going to repeat over and over again. So to begin, you're going to chain one and turn the work. And then we're going to do a half treble crochet into the first stitch. That's known as a half double crochet if you are using US terms. So that's yarn over into that very first stitch, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. And that is your half treble crochet. We're now going to do a front post treble crochet, which is a front post double crochet if you're in the US, around the next stitch. So the way that we do this is yarn over, we're going to insert our hook behind that next stitch. Yarn over and pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. So we've just pushed that stitch forward. We're then going to do a back post treble crochet, which is back post double crochet in the US. Yarn over. This time we're going to go around the back of the work and bring our hook forwards and around that next post. Yarn over, pull through. That one can be a little bit more tricky. Yarn over, pull through two, two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two. And there we go. So we're going to repeat this. So we'll do a front post treble crochet, followed by a back post treble crochet. And you can just see how it's starting to push those stitches forwards and backwards. 
like so. So you want to go ahead and work all the way across until you have two stitches remaining. So pause the video and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so I've just worked my way all the way across. I have two stitches left. So we have one stitch and then the churning chain. In this next stitch, we're going to do a front post treble crochet because what we'll do is we'll always start with a front post treble crochet and end with a front post treble crochet. Then what we're going to do is do a half treble crochet into the top of that turning chain. So just yarn over and pull through all of those loops on the hook. And then as I said before, this is just going to be a one row repeat. So we're going to repeat row two again. So we'll chain one, turn the work, half treble into that very first stitch, and then front post treble crochet. So this time it will look slightly different because it's it's set back a little bit. So we'll just do the same thing in going round that post and doing our treble crochet. And then again, yarn over, go around the back of the work to do that back post treble crochet. And then you're going to work your way all the way along front post treble crochet and back post treble crochet. So I'm going to work my way until I have two stitches remaining. Pause the video and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so I've come to the end of the work. I'm now going to do that front post treble crochet around that next stitch. This round will look slightly different just because it's not a turning chain. And then we're going to do a half treble crochet into the top of that very last stitch to finish off. So you're just going to repeat that over and over again until you get to the height of project you want. I'm going to go ahead and build this a little bit more just so you can start to see what the texture is going to look like. Okay, so I have now completed a few more rows and as you can see, it looks absolutely beautiful. Now this stitch is really nice because it looks the same on the back and the front. And I think this stitch would look really, really lovely in a cotton yarn because I think cotton yarn will give it a really, really lovely stitch definition, which this stitch definitely deserves. So I really hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget, I will leave a link in the description box below for the written pattern for this stitch. Don't forget to like this video, share with your friends, and subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you again next time. Bye.